If you've ever heard of scoliosis, it's a very significant problem of your spine alignment. Here today to tell us about it and the implications, Dr. Kirk Erickson. Uh, he is a chiropractor in our city, and thank you for coming and sharing with us, Dr. Erickson. Thanks for having me, Ann. First of all, what is scoliosis? Well, simply enough, said, when one looks at someone's spine straight on, the spine should be straight. And if the spine has a curvature in this dimension, of greater than 10 degrees, this is considered scoliosis. Now this affects between two and three percent of the entire population, which accounts for about seven million people. So it is pretty significant. But it doesn't usually have any pain involved. When does it really start causing problems? Well, in childhood, it rarely is painful. That's why it's so important to check children before it gets to that stage. But one thing to keep in mind is that um, girls are affected two to three times as much as boys, really? except for severe curvatures. Then girls are eight to 10 times as likely to have severe curvatures of the spine. I know some friends of mine who've been diagnosed and they have been significantly helped with proper chiropractic help. Let's talk a little bit about what happens and I think you have some pictures of treatment of people. Um, one is perhaps, let's put up the first one and then we'll look at it. Um, now, what are we looking at here? Is that the case? This, this one here is a five-year-old little girl, and uh, this is a, an extreme case. Um, if you look at the little dotted white dashes on the bottom of the x-ray, that is her upper back going down to the middle of her back, and you can see she has a very significant uh, curvature and distortion there. This is, again, unusual because this is a correction after one adjustment. So uh, the one on the right there of the screen is the correction there? Yes, and this is not something that one would normally expect, but in this type of a uh, case of uh, spinal distortion, this was easily corrected. But one thing I do want to mention is that there are different types of scoliosis. There's different causes and there's different degrees. Certain types of scoliosis will be more easily managed by a chiropractor as opposed to others. An example of this is if one has a curvature of the spine and if they wow, were... Wow, you drove like that. This is pretty se severe here. If they were to bend um, to the side, and if the curve remains, this is what's called structural scoliosis. This is going to be harder to correct. But if they bend to the, to the side and the curvature corrects, this is called non-structural or postural scoliosis, and you're going to have a greater chance of helping this patient. But scoliosis is uh, very varied. It can be very rewarding taking care of patients with this and also very frustrating because not all cases respond the same. And of course, if it goes on long term, as you get older, you can have serious problems, even affecting, I guess, the other organs of your body. Absolutely. Um, I work with Dr. Henry Barnard here in Dothan, who, in my opinion, is the top specialist in the orthopedic field of this. And we had a case um, last year of a child who had a 50 plus degree curve in his spine. So we immediately referred him to uh, the surgeon, Dr. Barnard, and we co-managed the case. And so many times we have to work together, the mm -hmm. medical profession and the chiropractic profession, to get the best of both worlds for the patient. Now, I think you have some other uh, pictures to show of adult treatment. This is a nine-year-old little boy. This is a case we actually published in the research journal. and. He has a, uh, a curve of an upper thoracic curve of close to 20 degrees and a lumbar curve of 14 degrees. We got an 88% correction of his curvatures after five adjustments that were spread out over four and a half months of time. Okay, and the next slide that we have there. This is an adult of uh, a lady up in her, uh, her 40s. And again, one thing to note is the curvature, the curves are, are greatly reduced. But if you look at that center line on the first x-ray, on the left, she's way off center compared to the after x-ray, which you can see the spine has lined back up. So it's not so critical to have all the curves straight as it is to, be, to get the spine in a more stable configuration. Okay, and uh, we're going to actually, now this is simply what we're seeing here is just some other pieces. This is a recent case, this is an eight-year-old little girl that we just started up for care here this past week, and the mother was nice enough to give me permission to show this, but I just wanted to show how we actually measure the x-rays. We use computer-aided digitization, which is a very sophisticated technology where we can digitize the x-rays and measure the curvatures to the nearest tenth of a millimeter and quarter of a degree, so it's a more accurate way of assessing the problem. Okay, we have a thanks to uh, Southeast Eye Clinic. They let us borrow one of our guests today. Aaliyah Jordan is going to be on our program, and she's going to demonstrate how you can check your child to see if they do have, without 
first taken them to a chiropractor. Yes, uh, or, or an orthopedist. Yes. Or an orthopedist, okay. Excuse okay, me. Leah, if you can stand right here. Okay, we got enough cord here. Okay. Okay, what you can do is <clears throat> you can look at your child from the back and you can look to see if it looks like one shoulder is higher than another. You can look down here and look at their waist to see if their waist is equal on both sides or if one side, if it's curved in more than another. You can look to see if one hip appears higher than another. You can go ahead and have her to bend forward. You want to make sure that each hand is at the same level. You don't want one hand down further than another. Have her relaxed, look at her from the back, and you can just look at the contour of her back to determine if one side of her back is higher than another because this could indicate scoliosis. Okay. You also want to look to see if it looks like she's leaning to one side mm -hmm. more than another. I think we have a picture to pull up. There we go. You can also get her the, or your child to lay on the bed and use their shoe. You can look to see if it appears as if one leg is shorter than another. Well, absolutely. You think about the, the rap, rapid way that a child develops. They do need to be checked and before they develop serious problems. And uh, Dr. Erickson, if you'll give us the information on how we can contact you. And by the way, he has a wonderful journal which documents so many of these cases. And you can read through it. Uh, upper Cervical Subluxation Complex. Oh, wow. And uh, this is a fantastic encyclopedia, is what it is, of this kind of care, which he himself authored. And uh, for more information, you may call him again at 793-7992 or chirohealthinstitute.com. Uh, Leah, thank you for being our model today. And our guest has been Dr. Kirk Erickson.